Good morning, friends. As long as you live, you'll never be able to understand the tragedies that happen in this world. You know, the tornado that ripped through uh, many of the areas in Arkansas and Tennessee, Illinois, and in Kentucky, where the majority of uh, the mayhem occurred with loss of life in that one city alone, being at least 100 people that they know of. Uh, many people are left unaccounted for, and uh, buildings, uh, houses, homes, churches, beautiful sanctuaries were all leveled and destroyed, and many people are suffering today. It has pulled on the heartstrings of a lot of people, including myself, uh, as I see this, but not only in these areas, but all over this world, friend, there is suffering, There's, there is tragedy. Uh, people even local to our uh, church have had sudden illnesses befall them, and now they're clinging to life. But you know, friend, God knows about suffering. He sent his son to this world to die for us and to, before he died, do much suffering. And I think that the things that happen along these lines that we see presently just reminds us that we're spiritual people headed to a spiritual destination, but we are suffering through the physicalities of this life. We're not home yet, children, but while we're here, we will endure, we will enjoy. It's not all troubles and trials. There are good times. There are wonderful times on this earth but it's not gonna be like this forever. We're going to a place that God has designed just for us when this life is over. I ask you today to pray for all of those that are suffering in the states that I just mentioned. You know, this is the most holiest time of year and one of the most uh, atrocious things that could probably ever happen has occurred in these areas. Let's pray, let's uh, donate to causes that are uh, accepting funds for these people. What a greater gift that you could give right now than to the Red Cross or even to the Salvation Army. Lay your politics down and remember that these are people that are just like you and it could have been us, but it's not. We got something to be thankful for today. Pray you one for another. God bless you.